So more tests um, that we have to look at. The root test looks very similar to the ratio test. So if the nth root, so if I take the nth root of everything, then and I take that limit as n approaches infinity, and I'm less than 1, it converges, greater than 1, diverges, and equal to 1, inconclusive. We do this when the entire function is to the n power. And it's something like, you know, that's not like 2 thirds, you know, because otherwise that's the geometric series. So does the series converge or diverge? Limit n approaches infinity. 4n plus... 4n minus 5, 2n plus 1, to the n power, all to the 1 over n power, so the n powers cancel out. So then I'm left with the limit, n approaches infinity, 4n minus 5 over 2n plus 1, and I take my ratio here, which is 4 over 2, so I get 2. 2 is bigger than 1, so this series diverges by the root test. I would want you to actually rewrite this out and don't draw this arrow, but I ran out of room down here, so that's the only reason why I'm doing it. Okay, alternating series test. If it alternates, like positive, negative. So alternating series test, what that means is that all the terms, the first term has to be bigger than the second term, which has to be bigger than the third term, so all the terms are getting smaller and smaller. And the limit as n approaches infinity has to equal zero. If both of those things are true, then the series converges and you're ignoring the negative positive switch. Okay, when you test both of these things, you're ignoring the negative positive switch. If they both don't work, then the series diverges. So we look at this alternating series here. It's alternating because of that negative 1 to the n plus 1. So we ignore it, and we look at 1 over the ln of n. It meets the first criteria. 1 over the ln of 2 is bigger than 1 over the ln of 3, which is bigger than 1 over the ln of 4, 1 over the ln of 5, so on and so forth. Then I look at the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over the ln of n. 1 over something very, very large goes to 0. Check. So, because both of those things are true, then this series converges by the alternating series test. Okay? And that is it for this lesson.